Howdy folks, Kirk and Jason here with another tip of the day. How many of you guys have installed your own sliding glass doors like this fellow did? He did this one, he did that one, he did a few around here. What we're going to do is we're going to patch this up. I'm going to explain to you guys how to do it, what material to buy from HD, Home Depot, or Lowe's. We're using Rapid Set. Now, this fella says he watched our videos and he learned how to laugh this. Now, you can do that, guys. Uh, you watch our videos and it'll show you how to apply the first coat of, or how to apply the lath. And the lath just means um, the paper and wire. And many people can do the paper and wire. In fact, he did it himself. So, while putting this on, I'll explain a few things. Now, if you go to Home Depot, say, or Lowe's, or any of the other hardware stores, you could find Rapid Set Stucco. That's R-A-P Set Stucco. And with that, with that Rapid Set Stucco, it comes in boxes of 10 pounds, or it comes in boxes of 25 pounds. You can buy bags, 50 pound bags, or even 94 pound bags. We use a 94 pound bag. Why? Because a 25 pound box or a 10 pound is for little little bits of projects. Um, and obviously what we don't use we bring to the next job. Here's a tip too guys when you mix this stuff you want to mix it about three to five minutes. No more. If you overmix any same day material, say like uh, they make, every major company makes same day materials now. Every one of them from uh, Quickcrete to Rapid Set to Sackcrete, every one of them makes same day materials. Anyway, what you want to do, guys, is, is mix it. Anyway, you're going to go three to five minutes. What happens if you mix it more than three to five minutes? It explodes. No, it doesn't, guys. It compromises the mix. Well, what does compromising the mix mean? That means it won't have as much strength as it should have. And how much strength should a same-day material have? They're about twice as strong as Portland cement. Portland cement will have 1,600, and these same day materials have about 4,000, 5,000 psi strength. What does that mean? It just means they're strong. Okay, now the material I'm putting on right now, it's a bit sandy, but can we make it work? Absolutely. If it's mixed, uh, what we do is we take, we take the, say the rapid set. And you guys, if you buy the rapid set in the 10 or 15 pound boxes, mix it in those, mix that in these buckets right here and just apply it. Do not add sand. We buy the material that you add sand to and it's usually three times the amount of sand to every one part stucco. And if you mix it just right, then you're lucky. <laughs> If you mix it where it's got a little too much sand or not enough, you improvise. You just put it on. And this fellow here, he, he watched our video on how to laugh again, and he did a great job. So learning how to do things yourself does have its benefits. Way before when I started plastering 40 years ago, Anyway, this is my last scoop with this mud here. Uh, Jay and Dan, one of them, are going to mix me up a little bit more. And I want to go ahead and finish showing you and explaining how you guys can do this stuff yourself. Okay, guys, moving on. Another bucket of rapid set here. And what I've done, oh, this is much better mud. 
if the mud is a little bit stiffer or uh, richer, it, it hangs a little bit better. Then you won't have that sound of what sounds like cows crapping on flat rocks. This is what they had on there. It's, it's rubber. What, what we have here is a finish over a finish. And then they put an elastomeric paint over it. And people always ask me, Kirk, what is elastomeric paint? It's rubber. <laughs> I mean, that's the way I look at it. It's basically a rubber paint. And that's why that flexes so much. And what I did here too, guys, is um, because I'm so close to the wall here, and I want the transition to be tight or on the money, I'm going right to the wall. So, boom. And just a little bit of elbow grease, guys. I'm using the equivalent of about 30 pounds of strength to really squeeze this on. First, tie in the stucco for the patchwork, then take it over the existing finish. So what we're doing, take it here, take it here. One more should do it. All right. Notice it hangs a lot better if it's mixed a little bit richer. Can you always mix it right the first time? Be real. No. Nobody can do that. So, I'm going to take it up into this top. Here's where we have the issues of falling down. The top. So we want to get that right. Now that I've got that spread out, I'm going to take it to the wall. When we take it to the wall, again, because I don't want a texture here to here and have a transition showing that is easily avoidable. All right. So what I'm going to do here, guys, is allow this to set. How long am I going to allow this to set? About 15 minutes. We let this set 15 minutes, and by that time I'll be done with that over there. Then I'll come back and I'll show you how we, we feather this in and match this. I'll show you the stage we're at. We put this on, and while we we're allowing it to set, we went over here and we put the stucco on that. It's a little bit more complex, but here's what you do. After it sets, and you guys control the set time of this. You can make it set five minutes or an hour, actually. So Jay went ahead and he floated everything. That just means he compressed it and he made everything true and plumb. That, that just means he straightened the walls out. Now, here's a tip, guys. Your transition, that is what determines a good texture. So you take it on the side here. You don't have to look. You just use that float, and that float just takes that edge off. Let the float take the edge off. And now the transition from this skip trial to here will be a little bit tighter. Will it be perfect? I notice every job I've ever done and anybody else's, but you guys shouldn't. While I'm on the su uh, subject, I'm going to show you something else. Now this window is trim plumb. That's straight, a straight wall. This one is a wee bit different, but is it a big deal? No. See, if I were to make this true and plumb, then it would be cockeyed. And so the top would be cockeyed. So what we do is we match the existing stucco. And so that's even here. So again, over here, we're true and plumb with the door frame. Here, I don't have that. I don't know if you call it a luxury or not. It's just, I have to do whatever the wall dictates. And what I generally do is I take my finger. Here's a tip, guys. You put your finger right here, and you just pull it up. And that gives you a straight, clean line. Same thing on the top. You put it where you want it, and you just pull it. Just like that. And that gives you a straight, even 
line. And you pull it a little bit like that. Now that's true and plumb, and so when I do my texture, it matches here. I wanted to show you one more thing before I start texturing this, guys, because it reminds me of a, of a skit that uh, Dave Chappelle did. You see, you see these snacks right here. That is mighty cool owner here. He brought all this stuff out for us, and I thought, man, that's a good host. <laughs> it, it, when I said that earlier, it reminded me of this little skit that Dave Chappelle did. He was talking about, I won't go there because it's, uh, anyway, who, who remembers that? He was talking about Michael Jackson, and he was, he was comparing stuff, and he says, where I come from, I consider that a good host. <laughs> I consider that a good host. Anyway, so what we're doing here is we're matching this texture here. Now, this is a heavy skip trial texture. Can I match this texture with uh, straight mud? Yes, because it's already been matched twice. Uh, a lot of the stucco here is an inch and a half because we have two finishes over it. So I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to skip it. And skipping just means I'm putting this, uh, I'm laying the trowel on flat. And I'm letting the wall pull it off. People say, how do you do that, man? I don't do anything. All I'm doing is I'm setting this on here and I'm letting the wall pull it off. I'm not doing anything, guys. Neither should you. You put it here. Now, if I've got my texture between here and here, it'll skip itself. See that? It's skipping itself. Now, when I get to the top, that's going to be a little bit different. I'm going, to put it, I'm going to follow the lip and go upward. Follow the lip and go upward. Or I missed a spot here. That's okay. And if I want to go over the existing, that's okay too because I've applied a bonding agent. That blue stuff, that's a bonding agent. That's Weld Creed. Uh, you have to go to plaster material yards for Weld Creed guys, but you can go to Home Depot and buy this particular uh, stucco, rapid set stucco. It's, uh, again, I explained that earlier, but rapid set stucco has got 1620 sand in it. And Rapids or Home Depot also sells Quickcrete. Quickcrete is a bonding agent. Those are for you to say, man, I've looked everywhere, I can't find uh, well creep. You don't need well creep, guys. I just use it because I've been using it for 40 years. It's sold at the material yards where I buy my materials. So anyway, you just close your eyes, guys. Match that stuff. The wall pulls it off. And yeah, it does take a little bit of skill. The skill is looking at what you got and the transition. Transitions are everything. See right here, transition. That's a, it's called feathering in the joint, transition. You can call it whatever you want, but the idea is they shouldn't be too proud of each other. You close it, see? Okay, now here, this is easy because I already uh, took it to the corner. That way I'm not doing a little itty bitty six inch pass. So what we're gonna do is, same, same deal. I'm gonna start from the bottom because I like moving upward. Okay. And if any of you guys say, well, man, I got a texture, but it's really fine to finish. I don't want to use a 1620 or heavy finish. At Home Depot, buy um, Green Core. Who makes Green Core? I believe it's uh, uh, who are they? <laughs> it is uh, Quickcrete. Q U I K R E T E. Quickcrete makes Green Core, and it. It's just a, has a lot finer sand. In fact, if you type in how to apply green core, our videos might come up. So there you have it, guys. 
And right there I could see a little bit that I could add. And so I am going to add it real quick because I'm going to show you one last thing before I tear this stuff off. Okay. So again, all I'm doing is I'm putting a tiny bit on, guys. I'm, I see where it needs it. I'm just putting it on there. That way it matches this. And this is not a Spanish lace or a fine skip trial. This is more of a pancake-ish uh, finish. And we can match them. Doesn't matter what it is. We can match it. So, there it is. And again, this, this bonding agent. If you think, man, I need to go further over. You could texture further over. For example, that's going further over than my transition. Boom, done. I'm going to get on this other thing. I'll point out one last thing, guys, since I'm here and since I'm doing it. Uh, a lot of guys used to call me and say, Kirk, uh, always turn your head when you pull the plastic because it will go in your eye. In fact, while I was prepping this, I had some go in my eye, and it is still in my eye. I should title this One-Eyed Plastering because that's what I've been doing. So... When you tear this off, guys, it was something I used to get a lot of calls on. And people say, Kirk, where is the expansion joint? And I'd say, what expansion joint? In some states, they require a J-trim right here. And that's so the stucco and the windows contract. For the last 15 years, they make windows with this gap here. And that gap is the expansion joint to eliminate that ridiculous J-trim. And if you get any in there, you just go ahead and pull it off like say this little bit is right here just pull it off boom it's done anyway my name is kirk jason's on the camera we thank you folks for watching and as usual we'll see you guys on the next one all right folks as always thank you for watching another giordano stucco video if you like what we do please like and subscribe so we can keep making them and as always we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next one, one.